thank God that the brother's on the rise now. Woo! Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yell a time out. Yeah. And for quitting, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business so humongous, you would think that happens in there. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm all bad, yeah, I'm all bad. I'm all bad. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. Stats, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yup. That's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Storm is coming, 
We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation, Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. Go look the other way. Hey, 
Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust up. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene. Hey, Mace. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Take this son of a bitch alive, Adler. Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kazim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him ring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go! Hold 
Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I, I, I just handled the money. I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Uh, uh, you Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. One down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Mason, check it out. Sign of a rush. That's not him. Get eyes on him. Take out the landing gear! 
here. Get under the plane. on the way. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. The Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man best suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah. Then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir. Every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir. Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets all... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, 
We're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Bell? Well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. We'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. We've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. Took a lot of revenue. MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Got it. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. We need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Danae. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Old. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins. Our little waste is in the middle of this godforsaken shit. You're pretty safe here. Charlie still holds most of the territories to the north and west of this corner. That's where the reinforcements are coming from.
Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell. That shit's gonna make you go blind. Yup. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax. We got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Truck 2, light him up! Bell, let's do this. You sure about this, Adler? Streets ain't exactly empty. Good priority is securing any intel.
Bombs in spots. Frank looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V. Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who gets the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already. Not yet. Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? We're okay! Fuck! Think we can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Denang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. 
So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. Talk on the drive, Bill.
MI6 has spent the last year tracking a group of... Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. As soon as the train slows down, you and I'll jump off. Park, Lazar, wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right, train slowing down. Let's go to work. All right, here we go. Careful. East German guards still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Hey! Shit! What's this here, 
Los. Ich arbeite für die Warn. Ich suche über meinen Ausweis. Das ist Sperrgebiet. Sie sind verhaftet. Runter auf den Boden. Halt, halt, halt. Beruhigen Sie es. Now. Was ist das? Nice work. Let's clean this up. Crowd should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Bart, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. Lock a place down, I'll give him that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Job. That's our man. That's Kraus. On me. Part. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? Lazar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben.
Krause sets a table over my right shoulder. Guten Abend, mein Herr. Was darf ich Ihnen bringen? Eine Berliner Weiße. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov? One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume there are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Dankeschön. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. Kraus is ex-Stasi, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. through the bathroom. I'll hold them up. Team, new plan. Meet outside Krause's apartment. He's still our ticket to Volkov. <clears throat> bei meinem Freund. Wir hatten ein paar zu viel in der Kneipe. Die beide. Schon gut, schon gut. Aber Sie können meine Wohnung von hier aussehen. Ich frage nicht noch ein. Careful, Bell. Das ich weiß, hier dass Sie hier drin sind. Ich tue Ihnen nichts. Ich möchte nur ein paar Fragen stellen. Ich bleibe, glaube ich, so lange hier, bis die Stasi weg ist. Wir es auf die harte Tor. Spark, give me a sit rep. I'm in a store. 
I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. What, what, what did that paper say? You, you can't trust these people. I don't even know what you're talking about. Please, just let me return to my children. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. That's your low profile, Bell. God help us all. Follow me. Stay quiet. We don't want the locals writing us out. Parks in the electronics store right across the street from Krauss's place. Gonna pick her up some networks from the brown bar, but closed already. Park is just up ahead. I pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, no, get eyes on Krauss. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's beat case. We should place a track on him. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. 
apart. You can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best aim. Lovely. Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja, das ist meine Nummer. Holt dir die Zähne. Ich komm gleich auf. Wer sind sie? Das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte... Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in einem Was? Wie sind Sie hier reingekommen? 
Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Mama, ich finde meine Decke nicht. Shit, we missed the kid. Papa, kommst du? Kraus is leaving his office. Hide. Ich komme gleich auf. Don't let Kraus see you. Bell, have you found the briefcase? Understood. Just plant the tracker and get out of there. Perseus has been looking for this one. But you let Perseus know I captured him. Well, finally. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. It's it easy. Do not tempt me to bring out my toys. I will ask again. Who do you work for? I don't care about your questions.
Unfortunately for you, it seems these friends of yours have other places to be, comrade. <laughs> I could probably make use of it, but you are damaged goods. Only a grave can cure a hunchback. I'll secure the case. Get Volko. It's what you are good at, is it not? What is the matter? I'm not sure if you can pull the trigger. MI6 could have gotten so much more out of him. Can't win them all. Information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain.
my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who help my cars and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yeah. 